Hi. Okay, so I have got today the sensorless motor driver boards. These boards from eBay. Now this is the first time that I want to see how much uh, they are good uh, and what is the quality because if you want to drive three phase motor this is not an easy task to do and you have to know at each moment which of the coils you have to supply voltage in order to spin it efficiency and uh, in the correct way in order not to consume too much energy this is a very powerful motor that I have many idea what to do with it and I have many projects of my mind from cars and uh, to something that can carry me uh, by the way pretty easily so I have now disconnected all the whole sensor and I am just now driving directly the phase of the motor so this is the board that arrived today I've got samples for the manufacturers okay so what I have here is MA, MB and MC the phase motor GND and VCC this is the power for the motor I will drive it first on 16 volts <coughs> and also I have the other which is GND and VCC 5 volts for the board itself and also a, a speed VR control which is the speed the spinning speed of the motor okay so I have the VR which is the speed control and I have also ZF which is the forward and reverse this is the wire that is not connected the last one so now let's power it up I'm powering all the thing up and let's see if the motor will spin okay so nothing happens uh, this is because the VR I started for a very low voltage a 0 0.2 volts now I will drive it up carefully and we'll see when it starts to spin now I'm 0 0.5 or half volts 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 okay 0.9 this is starting to spin okay I have to say that I'm pretty impressed because it is quite low speed and if I stall the motor the board know how to fix the phase and to start it again now I will speed it up a little now I am at 1 volt 1.1 let's go to 2 volts 2 volts as you can see now it is it doesn't know what to do if I will spin it a little so it will know how to fix so they they don't really uh, let's say do the smartest way in order to understand again okay okay but it is okay this is quite a low speed now I will try to reverse the direction and let's see how do I do it I think this way um, let me recheck myself oh, maybe I need to connect it to ground yes as you can see yes it is changing the direction okay and it is the same efficient in the both direction I can see it by the current that it consumes 
and by the noise of the motor so they are doing quite a good job I have to admit now let's speed it up uh, toward 5 volts which is the maximum speed so now I'm at 3 4 and 5 volts let's reverse the direction okay I have to admit the circuit is working quite well you can hear it by the sound of the motor when I'm reversing it start to spin at low speed and then it accelerate listen to the sound I have to admit this is quite a good better than I suspected now the current is uh, a, a little less than one amp and the MOSFET are totally cold no heat is spread out so I don't think that I will need any heat spreader at my project I suspect the power consumption was will be about 5-6 amps and not more ok they are doing quite a good job I will lower the voltage to 12 volts it will reduce the speed maybe this speed will be ok for my project ok I have to admit it looks like they are doing a great job now I have in my mind all the idea what to do with the project and how to drive this board directly from Arduino ok so I will continue with the project and update about the results later on so thank you very much and bye bye